we'll continue working with the Burton and King and O'Hare and Share articles. So if you don't have those open, you might do that before you move on. Going back to the focus helps us identify the variables. It's easier when they identify a prediction or a hypothesis because that tends to directly state the variables. Then we just have to figure out which parts are what they think will vary and which parts describe how they will vary. Burton and King make it a little trickier by talking about different levels of the variable and using slightly different wording in the goal sentence compared to in the prediction. If we think about the wording and what they appear to be interested in though, we get the idea that they are interested in three variables, writing, mood, and health. Then we look for the operational definitions to know specifically how they defined each variable. This is another case where knowing about APA style gives us an idea of where to look. We know this information should be in the methods section. Skimming the section, the first variable we see is mood. We can use the information highlighted in this slide to summarize the operational definition. Your notes on the article summary template should include at least the information included in the example in the slide. Note that the summary template includes notes about recording the citation, if that's available. This is an example of where citation is not included, so we can assume the authors developed the measure for this study. We still have two more variables, so we'll continue skimming the method section. In the procedure section, we find the first mention of the writing manipulation, where we learn they operationalized it in terms of writing 20 minutes a day for three consecutive days. The header writing instructions below the procedure signals will find more information about the operational definition of writing in that section. The explanation actually started a little before that, obviously, as I noted in the last slide. I hope that the phrases participants read the following instructions and experimental condition help signal that the writing variable was manipulated. For the summary article summary, we can summarize the operational definition like I have in the slide. We know that health was the other variable of interest. If we continue reading, we can find the operational definition for that variable in the last paragraph of the writing instruction sections, although it doesn't really fit with that heading. We can use the highlighted information from this slide to summarize the operational definition. Your notes on the article summary template should include at least the information that's included in the example in the slide. If you've not already done so, make sure to add your notes to the corresponding sections of the article summary template before moving on. Now, you can pause this recording to look at O'Hare and Share, completing the variables and operational definitions section of that worksheet before moving on. In this case, the authors present two hypotheses that include three variables as noted in this slide. The operational definition of gender is typically self-report, so we won't need to look for that, but we will skim the method section for the information for the other variables. The measures heading on page 34 of the article helps signal that we might be in the right place, and the first paragraph confirms we are. We can use the information highlighted in this slide to summarize the operational definition for stress. Your notes on the article summary template should include at least the information that I've included in the example here. We know we need to keep reading to find the operationalization for substance abuse. It's also helpful to remember that the hypothesis listed three ways they operationalized that variable. The alcohol use disorders identification test or audit, the alcohol change index, and the frequency of marijuana use. The next header on page 35 of the article signals that section will include information about the audit. Your notes on the article summary template should include at least the information I've included in this slide. Note that this does provide an example of working with information that's presented a little differently. First, there does not appear to be a citation for the audit itself. It would be provided in the first sentence where they identify the instrument and explain the content. The citations in the second paragraph signal credibility, though, by indicating it's been used in other published work. Also, they don't use formal terminology, but the information about correlating with the mask suggests another check of validity. 
Without the information in the hypothesis, it might have been easy to overlook the additional operationalizations of substance abuse, since they start on the next page. It's always a good practice to continue to skim the method, though, in case the authors don't give another signal that there are multiple operationalizations. Your notes in your article summary template should also include the information that's included in the example in the slides. These are additional examples where the authors do not include a citation for the measure itself, but signal credibility in discussing how it compares to other measures, otherwise known as validity. At this point, you might be wondering why we would want to note or copy all of the details I have included on your worksheet. There are two reasons. The first is the operational defini definitions help us understand what the authors really mean when they talk about the variables, so we know if they're talking about what we think they're talking about. If there's a citation, it also lets us know there's been a lot of work done to make sure the measure is reliable and valid, so the citation signals it's a credible measure. The other reason is because the notes can help us later when we design the study. If we want to study a variable that's also been included in another study, we can go back and see how they operationalized it. If it was a self-report measure, having a citation in our worksheet can help us see if we can use the measure in our study. Referring back to the focus of the article, though, helps us know where the, what variables were included in the study, so we might have a better idea of what we're looking for in the methods. You might have gotten the impression that the information about the operational definitions can be presented in a number of different ways, and that's an accurate impression. As we noticed, authors don't always present measures consistently within an article, let alone across articles, so it's helpful to skim the entire method section. We go to that trouble because it helps us understand what the authors are really talking about when they discuss their findings. Having the names of the measures and the citations when available can also be helpful in the later stages of the research process.